I think it's very important for Asia House to have a lively, vibrant cultural programme with the Literature Festival as a key part of that. I think that because you don't understand Asian business and commercial opportunities if you don't understand the geopolitics and you don't understand geopolitics unless you understand the cultural hinterland that uh, creates the politics. Well, Eurasia, uh, and I do mean the landmass, everything from Ireland to Vladivostok and everything in between, um, is two-thirds of the world's population. It's about two-thirds of the world's economic output. It is home to all of the world's great living cultures. Um, all of the major world powers of the 21st century, including America, are deeply engaged in Eurasia. Um, and its issues, uh, its tensions, its opportunities are going to set the agenda for the 21st century. I think that is the great question of the 21st century. Um, uh, the rise of China and its presence on the world stage, that's now firmly established, means that America, which has been used to thinking of itself as the global superpower, has to be prepared to make room for the changing um, makeup of the world stage. It's not just China, but it's perhaps China above all. Um, and in that context, seeing how those two countries interrelate over the next number of decades um, is not just an academic pursuit, it actually matters to us all. I, I wanted to write a book about Eurasia, meaning the Eurasian landmass for that broad definition, um, partly because um, in a sense it's a distillation of all my life's experience. I have lived in Asia, I have worked uh, in Asia, I have uh, visited many parts of Asia and Europe and the Middle East. Um, and I have a, a lively sense, I think, of, uh, of the cultural richness and variety of, uh, of this Eurasian landmass that we all live in. Um, I also have a strong sense um, that the big issues of our time are going to be um, dealt with, uh, successfully or otherwise, in Eurasia in the coming decades. So for me, this was a rich and interesting seam of experience that I wanted to reflect on. I also think it's extremely topical and will continue to be so for decades. Well, I, I would like to think that they would enjoy reading it because they, I would hope that they would share my enthusiasm for the sheer variety and richness of human life and experience in Eurasia. It has produced so much of the world's great culture, uh, its architecture, its music, its poetry, its uh, literature, its painting. Um, it's also, of course, been so much of a battleground over history between ideas, peoples jockeying for position. Uh, in a sense, to use a bit of a cliche, all human life is there. It's endlessly fascinating. I have no current plans. Um, I, I do feel there's more to be said, um, but I spent a lot of time um, with the ideas in this book fomenting, and I think I should allow a good deal more time for more ideas to foment before I take pen to paper again, or finger to iPad. <laughs>